Hello Fire Signs, Aries Sagittarius. Welcome back to my channel everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be looking at all the blessings, um, all the wonderful things that are coming to you and how they're potentially going to change your life. So um, this is very exciting. I'm going to be using different decks here. I'll pull out a few cards and we'll see what are all the things you can um, look forward to um, coming up into this period? So I just wanted to say thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to sign up for membership if you want access to ex uh, monthly extended readings. Um, you need to sign up for membership to gain access to the extended versions to videos. Otherwise, let's kick it off, shall we? Um, we'll pull out a couple of cards. From this deck, first fire signs. Okay, so we've got whispers. So I feel like this is the number three. So I feel like there's something to do with the beginning and uh, a middle part or approaching an ending of some kind here. So something is coming to full circle in your life. Now, whispers can often indicate like signs from the universe or being guided towards something um, by your intuition here. So I really feel like your intuition is going to guide you um, into something new. You're going to be reaching the middle part of something, maybe like a relationship, a project, um, or you're approaching the ending. So this is a sense of accomplishment that could also be coming in. But I feel like... Um, I feel like there's you're getting little glimpses of the start of something new because when I think of these whispers, it's like these gentle nods from the universe that life is changing for you or that you're approaching a certain kind of threshold or a certain kind of level, right? So I feel like there's some gentle nods or some gentle signs that are coming around you here, fire signs. So you have to pay attention because I feel like it's these little signs that are pointing to those blessings, or it's like these little signs or these hidden messages, these cryptic messages that are going to guide you into your blessings here. Okay, you've got focus. So um, this is potentially about a new beginning. Okay, so I feel like there's something new that's starting in your life. Um, and the more energy attention and focus you're going to give to this the bigger it's going to be so this is huge i feel like this is a new beginning because you've got three and seven which make ten which is essentially one so this is coming into a new phase i definitely feel like there's phases okay there's a changing of phases in your life um at this current time frame focus is um your ability to commit to something so i feel like commitment is going to change for the better it's like there's good fortune that's coming your way and it's very well deserved fire signs so if you've not been able to focus on something here on a relationship or a project or a career or just anything you want in your life anything you want to attract or keep it could very well indicate with the focus card that um the level of motivation you're about to receive towards whatever it is you want to achieve is going to be you know super super powerful like you'll have more routine, you'll have more energy, um, your attention is going to be different, your ability to plan and attract and to manifest, like I really feel like your mind is shifting and with that perception is, you know, it's going to come all those beautiful things but I really feel like anything that you've sort of neglected in your life, that focus is going to be there so you will have, you'll be more ready, okay, you'll be more ready and more committed than you've ever been. I also feel like this could also be someone else's focus or attention or energy that's improving. And as a result, it's going to improve your well-being. So, you know, we're all energy at the end of the day. Okay, so you've got the wisdom priestess that has come up here. The butterfly is telling me there's something about a transformation. So wisdom is really powerful because I feel like there is very important knowledge that's coming to you that is a blessing. So this could be a piece of advice that you get. It could be an epiphany or a realization that you have because, you know, it could be an experience even. Wisdom is something we learn through experience. You know, it's not something that's easily taught. So I feel like anything that you're going through is a major lesson here for you. So you need to like ask and probe questions. You need to, you know, probe this um, fire signs. Why is this happening to me? What am I learning from it? What good is it doing to me? What bad is it doing to me? 
this is going to what this is going to be what helps you transform into the butterfly. Look, you, some of you are already butterflies. Some of you are still in your cocoons. You're yet to make that debut, and that's okay. It could be some sort of exposure or debut debut that's coming out here, like launching a business, um, coming out as trans. Um, you know, finally telling someone how you really feel about it, confronting a situation like this is completely coming out of your shell and being your best version, but it's only going to happen with that experience. But I really feel like there's a key experience here for you that's going to change your life. Okay, it's going to transform you for the better. You know, once the butterfly comes out, it can fly. It's got beauty. It's this is what you were designed to do. So this is motivated. Okay, I'm feeling really motivated for you, um, knowing that this is coming. And knowing you're going to come out of your shell and be that, be that version of yourself that you were born to be. You were born this way, makes me think of Lady Gaga, that song, like, come on, fire signs. Okay, so we've got the faith card. So your faith, okay, faith in a situation, in a person, in a religion, um, faith is going to be changing for you. Um, for a lot of you, you're going to be pursuing faith, whether you're religious or not, spiritual, there's some sort of avenue you're going to go down and it's going to be very rewarding for you. Whatever it is, living with the law of attraction, following an ancient philosophy, um, reading reading the Bible. It, it's going to be different for everyone. But ultimately, faith is this underlying message here to hold on to hope. Um, and, you know, you should never lose that. Don't let other people take away your dreams or whatever you see for yourself. Don't let other people's words change how you feel about the situation or make you not want a certain thing or feel like it's a helpless situation you know faith is going to be super important for you you know she's this creative energy she's got the solar system she's got the sun in her hands fire signs this is you you have a lot of power in your life right now um and your faith in a situation or in a person is going to change and you'll be able to create more i think it's more internal the sun is the self so i feel like it's more of an inward um, revolution that's happening around your fire signs but I think because it's inward it's going to affect you outwardly as well so very very powerful <clears throat> okay let's have a look some more cards I'm, I'm really happy for you okay you've got the hangman here but this is a blessing so you will be hung up about something Possibly punished. The hangman is punished. There's, there's a consequence that's coming, but it needs to happen because it needs to teach you a lesson. Could be pay, not paying off debts. It could be, you know, you're doing something in a relationship that's making your person unhappy. The hangman does something, whether he's aware of it or not, and now he needs some sort of consequence. So not all consequences are bad, but some need to happen because we don't know if we're doing something right or we're doing something wrong or not. So I feel like the hangman is telling you, I really get like it's a dead end to a situation. So maybe it's like a dead end relationship. Maybe it's like a dead end career. It's something where you don't see a future. And whether it's a rejection, it could be a redirection. Or if there's no more space for you to push through in a situation and you don't feel like you're going to grow from it or come, come, come away with it any further, it's the universe telling you this is not for you. Okay, uh, not right now because there's nothing, there's nothing good for you here. Okay, now obviously each situation is going to be different and you'll be able to judge that with your own situation. But if it's anything that's hindering your growth, taking away your happiness, this blessing here is telling you, you're going to find it. It's going to be a dead end relationship. You're not going to get what you want. You're not going to get the happiness. Not being a pessimist, being a realist, but there's a reason why the universe is trying to tell you with the hangman here. So don't ignore it. Okay, you've got the devil. So this is Capricorn energy. Um, this can rule like addictions, attachments, obsessions, and things that sort of link or bind you to something, right? So with the devil card, it's telling me it can be like toxic energy and it can be temptation. So this can be like sinful behavior. Um, it's, a bl it's coming up as a blessing though. So interestingly, it could be that your attachment to another person is a blessing. They may be helping you out of an addiction. They may be helping you see the light in life. They may be the one that's helping you find purpose in your life. They may be this person or this energy. They might not be all bad. I don't know if some of you, a toxic um, situation is coming to light. 
It's coming to light because it's telling you that maybe that's the dead end that you're seeing with the hangman here. It's coming to light because it's saying, not right now, this is not the best step for you right now where you are in your life and change and growth needs to happen. So I feel like these sort of darker bits are coming up in your life because they're, they're flagging you, right? Fire signs are flagging you as not being something that's helpful to you in your situation right now. So the universe will show you the way. It's going to show you the light and they're all... They're all blessings, okay? I feel like some of you have the good stuff coming up. The devil is, it can be like large, large amounts of wealth and success that it's coming. So it's up to you to harness that in a healthy way and not to indulge in over excess here as well. So it can be a lot more that you can handle. So that's something to take into consideration. But I'll wrap it up there, fire signs. Thank you again for watching and we will be connecting soon. Ciao for now.